What you guys got another video here for you on how to share a printer on your local network in Windows 10. So let's go ahead and uh, get this set up. So basically if you are running a printer on your local network, whether it be on a Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection, you can share that across multiple computers on your network or devices. So I'm going to right click on the start button and go to settings. And first off, I want to check to see what the workgroup is. You can see here workgroup is being given a name by default by Windows and you can see the computer name if I go change settings here and then go down to change I can rename this to whatever I like. Now this is great if you've got a bunch of different uh, devices on the network you can call it PC01, PC02, PC03, PC04 uh, depending on how many uh, devices you've got you can call it main PC, bedroom PC, whatever and leave it work group and uh, you should be good to go. So once you've got this named click OK on your device and this makes it easier to understand what computers what on the network it makes it much more easier to understand so click OK here and restart your system. So I'm going to right click on the start button and go to system and I'm going to go back over to system info and you can see here now our computer name has changed to main PC and the work group name is called work group. I'm going to go back into settings now from there we're going to go network and internet. Inside here you'll see we got our connection whether it be Ethernet or Wi-Fi. I'm going to click on the Ethernet and click on network connection. You can see it's set to public. Your PC is hidden from other devices on the network and can't be used for printer and file sharing. So I'm going to change this to private and you can see for a network you trust such as home or work your PC is discoverable and used for printers and file sharing and stuff like that. So I'm going to set that up as is. Once we've got that done, we need to go to the next step, which is go down to the start button and then go back into settings. And then from there, what we're going to do is go up to devices. This is for our printer. So you can see here, we've got our Bluetooth here. So I'm going to go to printer and scanners. And now what we need to do is add in a printer. You can see my printer's already listed here. If it's not, you can add a printer, but mine is already listed. It's listed here twice because I'm running it on a Wi Fi connection as well. And I'm going to go to manage. Click on this one and we want to go to printer properties. Once we click on printer properties, this will open up another little window which now gives us uh, the general tab and we want to go to the sharing tab. Make sure you've got share this printer. Put the tick in there and that will give it the share name so you can call it whatever you like but this I'm leaving this as is render print jobs on the client computer I'm going to apply that and let that done now what we need to do here is add additional devices now if you're using tablets Android or 32-bit and stuff like that you want to add those in and click OK now you will need to install the drivers for the ARM64 processor and also for the x86 and stuff like that if you've got devices that need those uh, types of drivers. If you don't, then you don't have to install them, but if you do, you can point to them and uh, it will then install those drivers for you. Uh, a rule of thumb here is you can go to uh, the C drive and you can go down to say Windows System32 down here system 32 and inside here we're going to drop down until I go to driver store and then inside here file repository and you can normally locate your printer driver inside here and point to that okay if it doesn't recognize it or doesn't find it or you're having issues with it then you can point to the official driver from the manufacturer's website and download it but they should be listed inside here for your devices and your printer once you find those you can select them and uh, basically it will work with all those devices okay so click OK here and OK and it will use those drivers. It will then install those. Next, go to the Network and Sharing Center from there. And once you get there, you want to change um, to the advanced settings here. Make sure that you've got all of the settings enabled for network discovery and also for file and printer sharing is turned on. And you want to make sure that's on. OK, go down to where it says All Networks and we're going to use 128-bit encryption. Now, obviously, if you're using enable file sharing for devices that use 40 or 56-bit encryption, then you need to put the radio button in there. 
Now I'm going to turn off password protection for sharing. This means that uh, all the devices on the network don't need to have a password to connect to it. If you've got PCs with passwords on them, you will need to set that up differently. Once I've got that done, I can click OK and we should be pretty much good to go uh, from there. OK, so you can give it a name if you want. I'm leaving it as is. So we can close this off. And what I need to do now is go over to another device on the network and set that up so it can connect to the printer. So let's go ahead. I'm going to head over to a laptop here that I've got, which I'll show just quickly show you how to set up quickly. So go to the start button here and then go to settings on your other device. Sorry about the quality of the image there, but you should be able to still see it. It's going to be pretty much the same process. Go into devices here and go into where it says printers and scanners. Now you may see uh, your printer and scanner listed here. If it's not, you can add a printer and scanner. Now to connect to it wirelessly without being on the network, you can see it listed here and it will automatically connect uh, on that. If I click on this uh, one below, it will connect uh, to that. What you want to do if you want to connect it to the network is click on the printer um, the printer that I want is not listed here okay and I'll show you how to do both ways so if you want to connect just it to the printer wirelessly or on the network you can uh, basically connect this way but if you want to get it on the network then it's a different process and I'll show you so you can see it's now listed that um, printer there now to connect to it wirelessly you can click on this and then add device and it will add the device uh, to the machine it will get the driver ready and get it installed so I'm just going to do this and then I'll connect to it uh, via the network as well so I'll show you both ways so you can see here we've got a D double S uh, connection there okay so let's move on to the next step I'm going to just make sure that all the settings are set before I go and connect this uh, to uh, the network so I'm going to go to start and then settings and then what I'm going to do here is go into it down uh, network and internet here and then go over to where it says our connection now if I'm on a Wi-Fi connection I need to click Wi-Fi here and you should now see the Wi-Fi connection click on this one and you can see it's set to public I want to get this to private this will make it visible on the network so I can uh, connect to that printer so I'm going to go back here and once we go back I can now go over to uh, where it says uh, you should see here change advanced uh, sharing options on the right hand side here I'm going to go over to there and just make sure all these settings are exactly as it should be like discover on the network is on and also we want to make sure it says turn file and printer sharing on we want to make sure that is correctly done so I'm going to put the radio button in there also I'm going to go down to all networks and make sure the use 128 bit encryption and also I want to turn off the password protected sharing this is because it's on our local network and that makes it a lot easier to set up so once we've got that done I can now close this off and what I want to do next is go back into settings and what we're going to do is go into the devices again so let's go devices and we can click on here printers and scanners and you can see that Canon printers there so what I need to do here is if I click on this and then go to manage here you can then go into your settings and also uh, go to your sharing and make sure that you are sharing that okay so share this printer as soon as you share this printer it will give it a name and of course uh, you can add in the drivers and stuff for each machine uh, depending on what you want to do there but we're going to go back here and I'm going to go back into settings so that one's done so I just wanted to show you this way where you can add it on the network here so I'm just going to go into devices and printers again go back to printers and scanners and then click on add a printer and scanner so once you add a printer and scan it will search and then when it comes up with the uh, one at the bottom which says the printer that I want is not listed so click on this one and select a shared printer by name click on this and then you can now click browse and what you're looking for is the uh, printer on your network from the other machine so you can see uh, main PC click on this one and select and there we go and you should now see your printer so I'm going to click on the Canon printer here and you can see these here okay so you just click on the one you want to add as your network printer and then click next 
it will then go and get the drivers and start to connect to it and start installing all the drivers you will have to authorize all that to go through and once that is done you'll be able to access that on this machine and you can do this for all the devices which will be your tablets your phone and every other device in your home as long as you've got the drivers for those devices for the printer it will allow you to access all those on the network and you'll be able to just print uh, to uh, that printer across your network from all the other uh, machines on there okay it's pretty straightforward and easy to do and once you've done that you should be good to go anyway that's going to be about it you should be able to print from your devices in your home on your home network my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great weekend and i shall see you again real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.